Hey there everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask an Old Mog where I try to take questions uh, that pop up in the Facebook group and answer them in a visual format aimed at trying to help newer players get started at learning mechanics about the game um, and trying to learn like tips and tricks and ways to kind of get started playing uh, if they're being maybe a little overwhelmed by all the information and options and things to do in the game. Um, last week we did a video about tanks and one of the comments that we got on um, the Facebook group was to do something similar about a different type of unit. And so without further ado, uh, here's that video. So our question came from Nicholas, but before I ask that question, you know, what do you see in common about all the units that are on the right hand side of the screen? We've got Jesse, we've got uh, Ramza, we've got Reno, we've got um, Beach Blaster Olive, and we've got uh, Flammy. Um, maybe not a whole lot in common about these units, you might think, but one thing that they do all have in common is that they all carry the breaker tag. Um, some of those units, you might look at them and say they are definitely breakers, and other ones you might be like, oh my gosh, that's really weird. Uh, why are they breakers? Um, they all have some sort of skill that lowers the enemy's defenses, um, or offensive capabilities in some way, as well as other types of support um, type abilities um, that they have in their kit. And so they're all unique in that, uh, well, not necessarily unique, they're all like, they all share that in common. And so our question comes from Nicholas, which is this, maybe in the next video, talk about good support and breaker units. Um, and so here we are to talk about that. To uh, kind of think out loud about my criteria for, you know, what I think makes a good breaker or support unit, I'm gonna pop some things up here on the screen. Um, I like to consider the amount that they break, the availability of their breaks, and does that unit have any other utility in their kit besides just breaks? Okay, and the same thing is true about buffers or support units. You know, how much do they buff? Uh, how available are those buffs? And do they do anything else besides just provide buffs? Because in the current meta of the game, you know, units um, really want to or need to do more than one thing in order to be viable for multiple types of content. Um, if a unit just does one thing really well, um, they might not be as useful as a unit that does, you know, four or five things, just a little bit not as good. Um, but, you know, it depends. It depends on what you're doing and, and what you're working with. So um, there you go. Um, and those are the kind of criteria that I like to think about. Um, so, for example, if a unit can only break 83% to a single stat or they imperil less than 100%, or their breaks are locked to a single use skill, um, they really are not gonna stand up to what I would consider and um, what we're gonna see some other folks consider really good breakers. Um, the same is true about supports. If they just don't do very good numbers or their buffs are not available on a regular basis, they're just not gonna cut it compared to like the really good current options. And so to answer this question, you know, who are good breakers and supporters and why are they good breakers and supporters? Um, I actually asked some folks um, in the FFBE help discord um, and some of the names you might recognize from some other videos that I've done and some guests that I've had on. Um, and so I asked them about who their favorite breakers were. Um, I didn't even ask them about supporters, but incidentally, they all pretty much picked units that do exactly what we're looking for. They picked units that do party support as well as breaks. Um, and so uh, maybe the answers will surprise you and maybe they won't. Um, but take a look and see if you recognize any of these names and uh, see what you think about these units too. So. Uh, dberry 17 says, uh, I would probably choose Louise, though not strictly a breaker, because she does do other utility things. She is easily obtainable, still has the best spirit break in content outside of Clash of Wills, and is a really great uh, fire support. Um, so just as an example of some things that Louise does in addition to her 90% spirit break, which is very, very good. Um, she does killer buffs for the party for every race, so she kind of make everybody have a, a, a low amount of killer buff, which is pretty useful. Um, in, in some circumstances. She can provide mitigations to the party. She can provide buffs to the party. She can do a fire field amp and imbue. Um, she can do a gun in peril. She can do an accuracy debuff on the boss. She can do regular, like a regular full break type thing. She can also chain um, several chain families. Some of those are better than others, but like the ones you frequently use her ch for chaining is like Bolting Strike or Chaos Wave Awaken. So she can do a lot of nice things for your party. You can also do LB fill for your party. She's really good for uh, teams that want to use their LB a lot because she can fill that um, four times a turn. Very, very uh, nice unit. 
Um, even if she doesn't do the best damage in the game, um, you know, she has an intrinsic ability which helps her to do damage if she really wants to. Um, lots of options, lots of really good support um, and breaking the for your party. So thank you very much, D-Berry. Um, our next friend that brought up a topic was Chipotel. Um, Chipotel says, not my favorite now, but she was for a while, Cacteria. She had good breaks. She can do support for a few elements. She's got a fist in peril, and I put in there also a sword and short sword in peril, technically. Um, and she did good damage at the time. Um, so what's neat about um, Cacteria is that she's got single target and AoE breaks. So for example, like with the most recent Clash of Wills where you couldn't break the boss's defense, you could just use um, a spirit break and her attack and magic break. And she's got all three of those on individual casts, which is really nice. Um, she can do multiple weapon imperils. She can do elemental imbues for earth and for water, as well as pretty good amps and imperils. Um, she's got chaining abilities um, for bolting strike, and I believe like avalanche kick or something like that, like really random, but she's got it. Um, and then she's also got a nice LB damage buff, stat buff, resistance buffs, um, and she's got breaks on her skills and her LB. So like lots of available stuff, lots of available stuff. Um, for um, for Cacteria, so very cool. And her sprite, um, while not my favorite, is really neat. Um, and her vision card's really cute too. All right, who's our next friend we've uh, brought in here? So we've got um, MK Ultra. said her one of her favorite breakers is Frostblade Fravia. And she's pretty good depending on the fight. She's in my lineup, exclamation point. Um, so here's some neat things about Frostblade Fravia. She's got breaks and she's got those um, on um, a Magnus ability and on just a regular ability that she can use every turn. She's also got party-wide ice support in the form of a field effect that also, in the same ability, imbues your party with ice and imperils the enemy to ice. So it's a very nice single, you know, single all-in-one skill. She's got life light support for herself. She's got accuracy debuffs, which were very useful in most people's Clash of Wills run last month. Um, she can also, in a pinch, fill LB gauges and MP for the party. Technically, she can do a little bit of damage, um, but she's really great as a, a breaker that also does party support. Um, and, you know, she's cool, literally. Ice, joke, you know, whatever. There you go. Thank you, MK. Um, we've also got another one from another person. Uh, Sketch262 says, Ingus. Um, and Ingus, he can buff. He has good breaks. He creates imperil fields. Um, and so I went and took a look at his kit to kind of get some specifics because I want to make sure we're giving good information here. And this is true. He does multiple element support in the forms of fields and imbues. So he can do all the classic elements, fire, water, wind, and earth. Um, he can do imperil fields for those as well as imbue your party, which is very, very nice. He can do breaks on demand um, and on his LB, which are both pretty cool. Um, his breaks are not like the best, but, um, they do get pretty well on the, um, on the list. Um, they get up to like 87%, which is not terrible, not the worst, not the best. Um, and, um, he's also got really awesome clothing choices, as you can see right there. Um, red mages are some of the like classiest looking units in the entire franchise, which is really cool. So thank you so much, Sketch. Um, now, uh, the one that I picked is uh kaito i picked tidebringer kaito um inside of clash of wills which is my favorite game mode he's got everything he needs to be a great breaker and support he's got um he's got buffs for killers he's got breaks he's got accuracy debuffs um he's got water support um he's got really big water in peril he's got weapon in perils he's got um uh, he, he can he can do um breaks every turn he can do debuffs every turn for accuracy he's got um, multiple different forms. He's got unique utility skills in the form of his Magnus abilities and his LB chains with like one of the best chaining families we have in the game right now, Extreme Nova. Um, or just his base LB also does really good damage against um, against machines and chains with triple bolting strike, AoE. So it's really, he's got a lot of really neat things that he can do. Um, and so as a result, you know, Kaito easily takes the form uh, of my one of my favorite breakers just because he can do a bunch of different things without even having to think about it you put put kaito in your party and he breaks the boss automatically when the when the fight starts and then you can do even better breaks on your next turn now one problem kaito has is that all of his breaks are all stats he does not just break you know spirit or attack and magic only so kaito in that sense is um even though he's like ultra flexible he also is not very specific um because 
yeah, that, that, that made him not usable for the last Clash of Wills. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, he, he's got some um, he's got some potential there, and he's a very, very good breaker. And a lot of people actually said um, Kaito was, was good, too. Um, both D. Barry and MK both piped up immediately and said Kaito. And I said, you can't do that because Kaito is mine. So there you go. Now, in addition to those five, I wanted to also put up some other options for units that are good breaker and support units that are maybe not people's favorites, um, although I know at least some people's favorites are on this list. Um, some additional ones on here, NVA Gilgamesh has on-demand breaks and imperils for all stats and all elements, also has limited omni cover, and can pretty much chain with almost every good family. Um, almost every good family? Um, just, you know, he, he's there for a lot of different things. So NVA Gilgamesh is is fairly good at what he does. Um, also, NVA Assassin Shadow has on-demand breaks and he can give the party Mirage stacks, which makes it really easy to avoid incoming physical damage, which is really cool, as well as accuracy debuff the boss. Um, he does a lot of neat things. Um, Neo Vision's Lara Croft, I know she's a limited time unit, um, but she has a 90% defense break, a really big fire imperil, and can do morale damage, um, as well as like self-only killer buffs for herself, which is kind of neat. Um, and she does like stacking damage with her with her shift LB. You can like kind of gear her up to be a, a big spiker. Um, Vilk has a 90% defense break, also does killer support, wind and earth support, does decent damage depending on what you're doing. He can do a bunch of different things. Um, axe imperils, fist imperils, lots of options. Um, Paladin Sylvie, I do not need to explain why she is uh, a really great um, support unit, but she also does have breaks in her kit, so worth noting that. Um, but her big thing is uh, elemental support and um, damage support for your party and um, stuff like that. Um, some other options, um, Samurai Chizuru, while more of a support unit than a breaker, can also do Wind and Perils, Accuracy debuffs, Killer buffs, Stat buffs, and Unique Party Support skills, as well as being a Tag Team Chainer who does really, really good damage in most content. Um, Neo Visions 2B can imperil most weapons, um, most useful weapons, and provide killers for machines and humans, as well as doing absurd damage. Um, Vaughn and Tulian, Emperor, Lulu, Kuja, etc. All of these units that do like elemental, one element, single target whatever single single theme you know whatever they do really decent breaks and really big elemental imperils you know sometimes as high as 160 percent which is sometimes very very useful for your team um i also would put golbez in that category because he does a really big dark imperil and also does good defense and spirit breaks as well as having you know um, esper support um and stat buffs for himself and imperils for different elements um, and also auto breaks at the start of the fight and cast meteor for ridiculous damage. So he's, he's got a lot of things going for him, even though he's not in that list. He's, he's in that category of like, you know, single element breakers. Um, Roberta and Ignitos is very good fire imperil, um, as well as, um, imbue for the party and can, you know, tag team chain do damage. She can do spear imperil. She can do really big buffs for the party for their stats and mirage. Um, she can do LB damage buff. She's got a bunch of other support skills in her kit that like can like dispel the enemy or dispel bad things off the party. Um, lots of neat things for Roberta um, and Ignitos. Um, so, and that that is by no means exhaustive. So, like for example, these units that are here um, on the screen, you know, Avalanche Jesse um, as a seven star unit can do really good breaks and is also a really good you know passive provoke evasion tank. Um, Ramza is a really really old unit who focused more on um, singing a buff that would also heal the party's HP and MP every turn, but he did have breaks in his kit. You know, not that useful today, but he is he is there. Um, you know, Reno from Final Fantasy VII. We just we just had this event, and you can get up to 130 for free. Um, and he had like a bunch of different breaks and stuff, as well as tag team chaining in his shift form. You know, potentially useful depending on what you're doing. Um, Beach Blaster Olive has, you know, fairly good breaks and imperil skills that um, don't have to target the enemy's defense, which is why she came in such good, uh, good use during Clash of Wills last month. And her, um, her um, limit burst also does a 90% spirit break. Very, very good. Um, and then there's Flammy. I, 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 my Flammy is level one and I've never used Flammy, so I don't know exactly what Flammy does for breaking. Oh, here we go. Reduces magic and spirit. There you go. There you go. Technically, uh, reduces attack and magic, to, attack and defense too. So technically, has breaks for all stats and the breaker tag. You can see that. And the good thing about the breaker tag is any unit with the breaker tag can equip those nice breaker materials like Earth Breaker, Dark Breaker, 
um, numbing Thunderbird, uh, Lightbreaker, things like that, um, to, to just give them the utility of an 85% all break, which is sometimes very useful. Um, so hopefully, Nicholas, that answers your question and you have a, a sense of who are some really good um, breakers and support units and what makes them good breakers and support units. Uh, I'm curious to see in the comments, you know, uh, for those of you who uh, like to comment and things like that, who are some of your favorite um, breakers and support units? You know, drop a comment on Facebook, drop a comment on YouTube, um, and we'll have the discussion. You know, who are some good breakers and why are they your favorite? Um, if you've got a question you want to see in next week's video too, please um, drop that in the comments as well, and we'll see what we can do to try and answer it, just like we did this week. Um, until then, be good to each other, take care, have fun in the game, um, and we'll see you in next week's video. All right, later.